Since the app update this fall, we've added a few more things that we want to make sure you're aware of and make sure you understand. Before we get into it, if there's a tutorial you haven't seen yet, leave us a comment on this video and also check out the description for timestamps so you can jump ahead to the part that you're looking for. Correlation is the key new addition to the app. On any NBA player page, scroll down to the bottom and you'll find correlation. It'll show you trends for other props when the prop that you're looking at has hit. So in this example, when Jalen Brown hits his combo points, rebounds, and assist line, Sam Hauser has hit his assist line in 10 straight games. Or Peyton Pritchard has hit his points line in seven of the last 10 when Brown has hit his PRA line. This feature's main use case is for same game parlays. But let's look at it from a bit of a different lens. When you found a prop that you like within your regular research routine, and then you're looking for other props to supplement it with, correlation is a great place to start. Just above correlation, you'll find another new feature, recent trends. This summarizes the last five games for certain trends for the player that you're looking at, so you don't miss out on other props. In this example, Jalen Brown is averaging 3.2 more assists per game over his last five games than the previous five games before that. Another new feature is the NBA play type chart below the shot chart. It's divided by play type, how the player you're looking at scores their points, the point percentage for that play type for your player, and the opposing team's defensive rank against that play type. So in this example, Jalen Brown scores 18.8% of his points in transition, and the Knicks rank 19th in transition defense. This is a more detailed way to find an edge in player points and threes markets. We've also made a few changes to the filtering. A highly requested addition to the tool, we've added a potential rebounds and assists combo filter for your research. This will show you potential rebounds and assists together in one click. The other big change is adding sliders to the main page for quick filtering. If I click a trending filter, a slider populates, so I can quickly change the parameters of that filter. This isn't just trending filters, you can do it for all filters too. If I go into the filter menu, and add any secondary chart filter, I can touch that filter again on the main page to get the slider to populate. Once I'm done with that filter, click it again for it to disappear. We've also added NBA report cards. From the NBA player pages, if you click on any game on the player graph, you'll be taken courtside to the box score, where you'll find the player's prop report card for that game for every prop. But we've still made it easy for you to remember which one you were looking at by highlighting the prop that you were looking at before clicking in here and their line for that prop on the box score night that you're looking at. That's a highlight of everything new from the Props.Cash app in November and early December for the NBA season. Check out our other videos in this playlist for a comprehensive overview of the new Props.Cash app. Subscribe to our YouTube to get updates just like this one. And again, leave us a comment if there's a tutorial that you want to see.